Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, this is Positive Girl 11, otherwise known as Takesha or Nikki, and I am coming with, I think, to be either my 101 or 102 post op week. Um, from gastric bypass RNY surgery that I had on December 19th, 2012 by Dr. George Lynch out of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, what used to be Baptist Hospital, now South, now St. Thomas Midtown. Um, so yeah, uh, last time I came to you, I think uh, in a video I was 128 pounds and today I think I'm hovering around 135 pounds, um, which is the tip top and my first goal weight but the tip of my 125 to 135 goal range um, which I'm claiming that to be my lifetime goal range so I'm at the brink of that um, or at the point <laughs> of you know the end of that and um, I don't know I mean I it bothers me and it doesn't you know it's like okay um i'm at my max when it comes to my weight but my clothes still look a certain way and it's i i, I owe it all to um to my working out and to my lifting weights and um i posted a video of um my fitness and pictures and so you could see you know my progression I guess it wasn't really a progression it was just showing you what I was looking like now so um and that's pretty much how I'm still looking uh I think I'm a little bit more defined in my arms but um my arms are a struggle for me daily so <laughs> you know just in building them up and having them look a certain way so uh I am still working on that um so yeah um what has been going on we finished up the ready set gold challenge take two that we finished on november 26th so um yeah that was great we had thanksgiving and um, i went to my mother's jamie and the kids and i went to my mother's and just had a low-key thanksgiving it was good i ate um a little bit of mac and cheese and <laughs> we had um, Boca chicken patties <laughs> as a meat and um, we had something else I think I may have had a couple rolls or something but um, didn't have dessert at all I don't think we had dessert no so it was just that um, which was fine my mom looked at our chicken patties and was like what is that so um so it it was fine um the kids had you know a more traditional deal but um but you know it was it was okay i i treated it like it was another day like it wasn't um pressing that i have a sweet potato pie and it wasn't pressing that i have a chest pie and it wasn't pressing that i have turkey because i'm vegetarian so it wasn't pressing that i had all these staple you know thanksgiving um items it was just another day um so it, it was it was fine i it was fine um let's see i had a job interview um at the midpoint of um, November and um, I heard that they put my name in as the candidate that they want so right now I'm just in the waiting period for background stuff so you know if all looks well and I have I'm not oh, on a warrant for anything <laughs> so um, I think it's just been because of holiday stuff that they've been kind of behind but um, just any day now waiting on that word um, I'm told you guys a few videos back that I you know really want to get back to working with students and I'm really about student success and um, 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm speaking it into existence. I will have the job here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, I will be working back with students and doing what it is that I love. So um, I love Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt was great, is great, um, continues to be great. Um, but, you know, you, I felt more complete and I felt like I was really doing something um, towards what it is that I love when I was working with students um, and in my previous job. So when you go from doing something that you love and you think that, you know, you're taking next steps to do a little bit, you know, go up beyond that and, and you're not working with, you know, students or you're not working, you know, with, you know, people or things that you used to work with that made you really happy. Um, you know, you, I don't know, I just, I kind of don't feel, not feel complete, but I just yearn for that. You know, when a student walks in the office and, you know, you know that you've helped that student out in some minute way, either by giving them a permit for a class that they can't get into or, you know, you've helped that student by, you know, understanding their degree and learning what other classes that they need to take or, you know, you've helped that student just by talking with them and letting them vent to you and then they walk out and they're like, man, it really isn't that bad. Those are like things that there's no price. There's no paycheck that, you know, brings you that type of joy or that type of feeling that you have really helped someone. There's no amount of money that, <laughs> that pays for that. Um, so that's what I miss. Um, and that's what I think I'm good at. So, um, yeah, I am just waiting on them to uh, respond or to, you know, give me a call and say, hey, listen, this is when you start. <laughs> and I'll be like, all right. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so I, I am just waiting on that. Um, so I'm pretty amped about that. Uh, what else, man? Um, you know, steady in the gym. I worked out. Still got my workout clothes on. Worked out uh, today. Uh, I am totally inspired by Jamie, my love. He is this guy. Oh. <laughs> this guy right here. Um, really excited about what he's doing. Um, he's busting moves, uh, almost losing 30 pounds so far since when I started the Ready, Set, One, Ready, Set, Goal Challenge Part 1, uh, August 25th. So, um, he's just slow riding it though. I mean, he's just like, okay, you know lost two pounds or okay you know lost three pounds or whatever I mean like he's totally low-key about it but um he came up on a milestone and today and so I was like I am my daughter is uh, sick she has the flu so yesterday I didn't work out but um I made sure I got it in today especially after you know him reaching his milestone uh, I was like, yeah, you're, you're inspiring me to just keep it going. So um, I will have to say that this is also my milestone um, of sorts. Um, two years ago today, um, I made a video about uh, getting my surgery date. And uh, I was sitting in the office and telling you guys, you know, about getting a call the day before uh, from my surgeon's office and being put that day. I brought my uh, protein powder in just because I had this feeling like I'm going to need this. <laughs> so, um, so December 5th, you know, I, not knowing that they were going to call me, I came prepped with protein powder and some other stuff. Uh, I think some little meals and uh, yeah, that that day I got the call that my surgery was scheduled for December 19th and I had all these emotions you know of like yay and like what am I ready for this you know is this really 
what I want to have happen. And so I made a video the, the next day just saying, you know, I had a surgery date and I was excited. But that same day, I also had this luncheon, this Christmas luncheon that I had, you know, organized with um, our faculty and staff and um, and how I was going to drink my muscle milk and, you know, that's all I was going to have and just the feelings that, you know, this is really happening, right? So here we are two years later and the feelings are the same, you know, but on a hug, on another level because I had the surgery and I will be two years out in a couple weeks and it's just amazing you know this ride this journey that we're on um, I will never <laughs> regret these last two years um, ever <laughs> so um, I think if you are still thinking about having surgery, if you are still wondering if this is the right thing for you, whether it be lap band, gastric sleeve, gastric bypass, do a dental switch, um, whatever with plication, all you know, all these other surgeries that we, you know, know to be. Um, if you're thinking about changing your life for the better, if you're thinking about getting healthy and being there for your family and friends and being there for those you love, um, make the choice. You know, it's, 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 it's hard, but it's simple as far as the decision. Yes, there are in the background, you have thoughts of, you know, is this going to kill me? You know, am I going to make it off that bed, you know, after they do whatever to me? Um, the answer nine times out of 10 is yes. You know, we, we do know that there are people that have had complications and situations that have been out of the surgeon's control, have been out of our control. But when you think about all of the pros, um, the decision is simple, you know, and I would not be where I am right now had I not made the decision to change my life by having the surgery. Um, and I don't regret it at all. Uh, so to those that are getting ready to have surgery, for those that are contemplating having surgery, um, do it. <laughs> I can't speak enough about it. Um, do it so um yeah don't don't let anybody deter you from your destiny of living a healthier and happier life don't let anybody do that um, make the decision for yourself let it be because it's something you want to do and you have weighed all the options and make the decision because you want to be happy and you're tired of living in a body that is truly suffocating you and truly killing you. You know, you can think about it this way. Do you want to continue dying a slow death or do you want to think about possibly dying quick on the table and there being like a 1% chance of that happening or a less than 1% chance of that happening. So you can have like a, I don't know, 70, 80% chance of dying from being overweight, or you can have that less than 1% chance of living or dying, excuse me, by having something, having a surgery that's going to change your life for the better. I hope I said that right. <laughs> but yeah, um, Make the decision because you want to um, change your life for the better, you know, and, and never let what anybody else says deter you from your destiny. Um, just got some news last night from my mother that my cousin passed away, and so um, 
Live your best life, guys. Love hard. Love hard. And um, while you're here, try to make a difference in somebody's life. And, you know, that's my focus. That's what I want to do. I hope that I can inspire someone to see the best in themselves and know that those thoughts of live the less live the best life that you can guys and um, the impossible becomes possible if you really believe it and there is nothing that anyone else can say unless you allow them but that anyone else can say to hold you back and I mean we're here for a purpose everybody's here for a purpose and you just have to figure out what your purpose is my purpose is to help you know whether that be students whether that be you uh, whether that be friends family people I don't know never met um, we're all here for a purpose you know and I hope that I have said something I hope that I have done something I hope that I have conveyed something that inspires you to do something that you thought you could never do I never saw myself in my shoes right now you know and I, I never saw myself doing the things that I do now um, I'm here because I made that decision to change my life and I had heart problems I had cardiomyopathy I had you know high cholesterol high blood pressure I have a uh, I have a history of diabetes in my family. My father, I've mentioned in previous videos, has diabetes, has had his foot and then his leg cut off. And, you know, my family, 90% of my family is overweight. 90% of my family is overweight. 90% of my family is overweight. So, um, I'm here to hopefully make a change and help someone. It's not just about me and it's not just about you um, and your journey because if you're posting videos and if you're, you know, doing whatever on social media, people are looking at you. And so with that, I feel like comes a level of responsibility. So, yeah, we're all responsible for ourselves. But I feel like for me, I'm not only responsible for myself, but I'm responsible for others. You know, um, I have to be accountable to myself. But I feel like I also need to be accountable to you guys because I'm here, you know. And... Um, I wouldn't want it any other way so I am going to go on that note I don't know where this video kind of went but <laughs> but I hope that I help somebody and I know it's a little bit long but um, this is where I'm at right now and I'm in a good place um, but yeah just live your best life and do what you can while you can. You don't have to beast it out in the gym. Nobody's asking for that. But I do think for yourself, you should try to do the very best that you can while you can. So I say that to myself daily. You know, just do the best job you can while you can. Okay? So I am going to go on that note. Um, I will be back in a few days to let you know that I did get the job. 
<laughs> because I am speaking it into existence. I have the job. And um, I'll be back working with students. So I'm stoked about it. And uh, I'm going to keep trying to rip this thing up. I'm <laughs> going to get it in. Make it happen. Let's go. Let's rock. My hashtags. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to, you know, hopefully keep inspiring. Uh, keep motivating myself to keep inspiring others. And, uh, yeah, that's where we are. So be easy <laughs> and uh, always bye